Hi guys. So today we are going to try this Little Mermaid collection from Ulta. Okay. I'm gonna be honest. I This was like an impulse buy. I just really loved this kind of metallic shell looking case. So that's why I bought it. So it was kind of an impulse buy, so I don't really have a lot of high hopes for the quality of the makeup because this is kind of more kids themed, if that makes any sense. But we're going to try it and we're going to see how it is. I love the little, you know, pearl zipper. I think that's so cute. You open it up and you have two sides. You have like eyeshadows, lip glosses, uh, some brows, things like that. So, okay. I am, I am a little scared. I'm going to be honest. Okay. So let's, let's just take this out because I'm going to keep the case for like travel. I think it's super cute. Okay. So here, I also have this. It tells me what is included. So I paid $20, oh god, it's taped, for the whole collection, for the little shell. And then I bought the, they had another eyeshadow palette that they released, which was this one, which is different. So I think I'm going to do that other palette in a different video and try to stick with this one that's included. So it has a little eyeshadow primer with a little pelican looking thing. So let's start with that. Now, if this is the Ulta primer, which I think it is, I love it. Yes, it is. The Ulta Beauty primer has a very thick consistency, which I really, really, really like. Um, but it doesn't have a lot in it. So I'm ha I am happy so far with that. It's also a light neutral color. Ooh. So when I put it on my eyes, it, it kind of changes colors because it's tinted. But, ooh, that kind of hurt. Uh, be warned. It is very thick. This is a very thick primer, the one that's in here, and like just the regular Ulta Beauty primer. Very, very thick. Very thick. But I do like it, like, This one actually, it seems actually a lot thicker than the one I'm used to. <laughs> so they might have changed the formula on that. But you'll see. Makeup remover wipes. That's what I am feeling myself need. That is on. Now let's go to this palette. So this is what it looks like. It obviously these are eyeshadows, and then we have some two blushes. Um, one thing I do wish, and this is just a personal preference, I wish it had names. I like eyeshadow names on palettes. That's just a personal preference. It's easier to also explain when you are someone like me that films what color you're actually using. But I digress. So we're going to go smack dab in the middle with the lightest shade that is in this palette, which is this cream neutral, to set this eyeshadow primer. Okay. Has a lot of kickback, but that's not a problem. I am someone that does not really care if a shadow has a lot of kickback as long as it performs. 
And so far, it seems to look pretty good. Okay. Also, again, makeup is personal preference. Um, but I like to kind of cake on the setting shadow. I feel it makes the makeup last a little longer for me. So I tend to add quite a few layers of a lighter shadow. Okay. So let's turn the lights down a little bit. Oh, you still can't really tell. <laughs> I did make a pretty big dent in that one. Okay. Oh boy. There's not, if I'm gonna be honest though, there is not a lot of shades I can use to make a look. I'm going to attempt this dark blue. Blues are very difficult to make. But we're going to go big or go home. So this dark navy blue, I'm going to take that. It seems, let's, that one doesn't have a lot of kickback. So let's, oh, I'm so scared. Why am I so scared? You know what I'm going to do, you guys, before I, I'm going to take some tape. I should have done this. Maybe. I'm going to take some tape and I'm going to put it on the side for any excess that decides it wants to make an appearance. <laughs> I know it looks crazy. It will also help keep a more defined line. Okay, so let's try this. Okay. Not the worst blue I've ever used. And it looks like you can build this. Okay. Dying. When using dark colors, I am not someone that enjoys using dark colors. I'm more of a neutral person. The reason why, because blues and greens and everything, they go everywhere. And they don't tend to look good on me. And they just, yeah, see like, it's already on my like brow bone. It's, it's impressive, it's an impressive pigment for being an Ulta Beauty branded product. That's very, very impressive. I'm also, you know, I'm the one that I put like maybe at most three colors on my eyes three different shadows so I don't do these crazy extravagant looks like a lot of people do I just simply I don't really have the eyelid space for it and I'm not into really complicated looks at least on me That's pretty impressive. I'm not gonna lie. Dang. Okay. So I think I'm gonna go in to. No. We're gonna do this blue because it looks a little more. Well. Hmm. Yeah, let's try that. 
so with my makeup routine, anytime picking up a metallic or a glitter or anything like that, I go in with setting spray to kind of bond a little bit because a lot of shadows uh, typically need that extra help. Let's try it. Dang, Alta. That's kind of impressive so far, dang. No, almost no fallout, you guys. Almost no fallout. I didn't think that this would perform that well, and it is 100% proving me wrong. I have a hard time with my left eye putting stuff on just because the angle I'm right-handed it's a very awkward angle for me I'm impressed I'm actually really impressed, not gonna lie. That's crazy. Okay. Wowza. So, I have cat hair. I feel the cat hair. Or my own hair. Mm. Oh. Literally got it in my eye. Oh, it's fine. So, I'm going to actually take, if I can find one, I'm going to take this Morphe brush. This is a Morphe M31, good lord, M321, and I'm going to go back to that shade that I set my uh, primer with, and I'm going to try to clean up the, the edges a little bit. This is more of a detailed pointed brush from Morphe. And I'm just gonna try to smooth out edges. It lightens, lightens colors. Now, let's take, this is kind of like a shimmer, like a satin, but I'm going to try to put it in the corner of my eye a little bit. We're going blue today, guys. We're just going blue. Okay. I'm just going to tap it on the corner. I can hear my cat on the scratching post. Now this is, this is a shimmery metallic, so it's not performing like a, a matte wood. I'm just kind of adding a little bit of, I call it oomph. <laughs> A 
which it's actually not doing so bad. All right. So I I use one, two, three, four, four. I use the blues in the palette. Okay, that's actually really impressive. I am really impressed by this. So it also comes with. Let me put these aside. A lip balm. Has a very, very light, light, light fragrance. Okay, and two lip glosses. Okay, and these have names, Shipwreck and Starfish. So I'm gonna swatch these for you guys. This one is Starfish. This is kind of a pink. It's actually pretty. They smell good. I don't know what they smell like though. And then Shipwreck has a little bit of glitter in it and it's more of a neutral. It actually is a neutral. It's pretty. So those are cute little like travel-y things. Then we have a brow trio. Now I will never use this. I do not do my brows, you guys. But it's cute, it's a little mini brow trio. It's got like a little kind of clear brow gel and then two powders. I give that to my mother. And a cream highlighter. Oh, that's cute. Let's, let's use this real quick, okay? I don't have any foundation on, but I really wanna try this. So let's, oh, take this off. Oh God, that hurt. And clean up the eyes a little bit. You guys, I'm, I'm very impressed with this. For that palette to be in that case, I would, I would buy it on the shelf All right, my chair is squeaking. Okay, so let's try this cream highlighter. Are we ready? I don't know if I'm ready. Okay. Kind of more of a natural glow. That's pretty. Let's... All of my, all of my brushes are like not organized and this chair is so obnoxious. So it's a very natural, today guys is going to be the struggle. It's a more natural kind of glow, which I actually really like since I don't have foundation on. That's really, it's not bright. This, I like that. I really do. I like that. All right, then we have a glitter top coat trio, which is just some little glitter shades. Let's try this teal. Okay, can I? Do we want to do this? Let's grab. No, it's gonna be wet, but let's see. So it says top coat, so it's not supposed to be. I don't think that did anything. It's on the brush. Oh, okay. Oh, it just adds just a little bit of extra glitter. Very, very. Find faint. Okay. That's cute.
cute. Yeah, that's actually really cute. It's kind of a little difficult to get out of the pan. <laughs> okay. Yes. I like that. So little glitter trio, teal, purple, and gold champagne. Then a dual ended liner, and we have black and then a navy blue. I will not use that either. So I'm trying to find the pile, yeah, that I will not use. Just a couple things. Um, a cream eyeshadow. Oh, oh. hello. Pause. Okay, so again, another kind of champagne gold. I'll swatch that. Oh my God, that's stunning. And then the last thing is a brow gel. Just a clear brow gel, which I, I don't use brow products, so I will give that to my mama. But you guys, th for $20, that was 100% worth it. If they still have it, I really do think you guys should get it. You get a super cute case, you get all of this stuff, and the eyeshadow palette actually, obviously, performs really freaking well. So yeah, let's, let's try this little blush right here. I don't know if I can get it my... That's going to be a lot. That was a mistake. And But it's pigmented. Just wipe it all over your face, Jamie. That was pigmented as crap. I was not expecting that. My husband is going to get home and say, woman, what the heck have you done? Yeah, that's pigmented. Be careful with that. Anyway, I'll take that off in a minute. Just better. Anyway. For $20 to get this, eyeshadows, some pretty pigmented blushes, two little mini lip glosses, this little, th it, it's, it's, guys, it's worth it. It really honestly is. Uh, and it works. So that is really great. Really great. So, but that is it for today's video. I am going to kind of go through what I want to keep and what I want to give to my mother because there's just going to be products I just do not use. But I definitely am going to keep this, give this a couple more tries, maybe with some different colors and see what I can come up with. But I like it. So that is it for today's video, you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.